Hello, what is going on guys? I am Numbness. I bring you guys here a My Hero Academia review here today. Uh, this was episode 3, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, episode 3, 16, if you want to be technical. If you guys are enjoying, slap a like, subscribe. Let's get into it. By far, the most hype episode so far. Honestly, just of the entire anime series. Not just of season 2, but it might actually just be, overall, the entirety of the anime series. This episode was so good. So good. It had hype moments. It had moments that wanted to make you cry, made you happy. I'm just like, bruh, dude. This was so lit. It was Deku versus uh, Bakugo versus Todoroki. I'm just like, these three characters combined together are so dope, man. And you guys don't even know. You anime only watchers don't even know how much better this anime is only going to be getting after this episode because at the end. They announced the cavalry fights, and good God, everybody wants Deku. He's got a massive bounty on 10 million, dude, basically. So it's not looking too favorable for him. Everybody kind of needs to take him down in order to do better. And when the guy's got 10 mil on his name, <laughs> they kind of got to get him. But I was so happy for Deku. I don't know what it is about Deku being such a good main character. I don't know what it is. Like, I, I, I just don't get it, because I usually don't like main characters. I'm not too crazy about Naruto, not too crazy about, you know, Goku, not too crazy about Ichigo, etc. Insert other main characters, especially the main character from ReZero. But you know what I mean, Subaru, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not too nuts about main characters, but about Deku, I really feel nuts about him. It's because he's very, he motivates you, you know what I mean? Like, I just want to get up and go on my 10-month training, dude. I don't know what it is. My man motivates me to do better in life. I'm saying, dude. This episode was just way too hype. You have Deku using his brain rather than his bronze here, being very strategic and using everything that he possibly can use in order to take the lead. That's exactly what he does. Takes a bit of the robot shield and uses it to his advantage, you know, avoiding damage from the bots and bombs and such like that. And Pushing himself to the lead, using the bomb to propel himself. He is Junk Rat, dude. He's Junk Rat's concussion bomb on God, dude. I swear. Um, I really did like though that Bakugo was not gonna sit there and let Todoroki take the shine. Um, I don't know when I was first reading this. I thought maybe Todoroki would just take the shine and that it would brag because his father endeavors. The second strongest hero right after All Might. Fun fact: if you didn't know, it was announced in this episode. It's not a spoiler. Endeavor is Todoroki's son. Or Todoroki's father, and he is the second strongest quirk user after All Might. So, or the hero after hero quirk user after All Might, essentially. So he has to kind of live up to that title, and I feel like that's the rivalry between Todoroki and Deku. Um, he was that Todoroki wanted to get this acknowledgement from uh, both his father and his um, All Might, but it seems as though as uh, Deku is getting the acknowledgement from All Might, and this is where the tension is building. You guys saw from the past three episodes that ever, ever since the season two started Todoroki has been building a bunch of tension against Deku and the rivalry is setting in stone these three right now are the squad dude these are my three favorite quirkies from this entire series they're dope as shit man oh my goodness I just love Deku as well dude I love Deku I can understand people hate him because annoying but I cannot relate Deku is way too goddamn cool you think his brain here I did like that uh, that one chick as well who was bragging that it is definitely her time to shine <laughs> to like uh you, ab you abuse her uh her hero items since there's no bans towards that since yes you actually can use items to become a hero i can't necessarily remember if she had a quirk i actually cannot remember for the life of me i can't remember shit about her honestly it's been a while but essentially she abused her hero items here and she brought it towards her advantage to succeed in this mission here but there's no rules against that since you have to build it yourself and she's smart enough to build it herself so ain't nothing wrong with that you feel me though but the rivalry between Deku, Todoroki and Baku was really set this episode into stone and I think one of the best things from this episode was when Deku came out as number one and he had that stare down he was crying 
looking up at All Might. He's like, yes, I did it. He's like, I'm so proud. Yes, I'm, yes, I did it. I was like, ah, this shit is way too dope, man. I was so proud of Deku. I was like, that's my nigga, man. That's my boy, man. That's my boy, man. I was so proud of him, dude. So proud. But he got that bounty on him. And that purple hair dude, did you see when he looked at it? It was like, oh, 10 million. I'm telling y'all, I'm telling you all, keep your eye out for this dude. This dude is a menace, dude. Keep your eye out for him. But I'm telling you, from now on, the episodes are going to be continuously getting better. As weeks go by, I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty hyped. You guys already know what you thought in the comments section down below. With that being said, I should have AOT and Super out as well today. Thank you for watching. I am Numb Nexus. Goodbye.